I'm trying to stay centered, Saima, trying to stay centered because Azra Chamber of Horrors is definitely creepy and scary for all the right reasons. And there are actors and characters, I mean, monsters and ghouls and zombies. They are more lifelike than ever before. I'm here with Kim and Kim, thank goodness I have you with me. Uh, where are we walking right now? So this is one of our Chamber of Horrors. This is the zombie area. It's quite the walkthrough, as you can see, with these guys, and we've stretched it out even more so that your group has all the space you need to get through. I love it! I love it! Now, we, we are walking through a chamber of horrors during Hello! Okay, see, instead of Captain Hook, we've got the honk. <laughs> I, this is one of the uh, odd times in life when we've got some real life horrors people are dealing with too. So in, in a place like this, I see a lot of people wearing masks and face shields. That's part of the safety measure. Absolutely, we want everyone to be safe inside and outside of the house, you know, including my actors. So we wanna make sure we take care of everybody. When you come through, it is just your group that comes through. All oh, those eyes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are good eyes. Yeah, and we space you out somewhere between two to five minutes between each group so that you know groups don't run into each other when you're coming through and everyone has a great full experience. Okay, so you are basically gonna have an experience that feels like you're going through the haunted house by yourself with just your friends because you're spacing groups out so much. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> True. Oh my gosh! It gets me every time. Hides in the dark and then those eyes jump out at you. The zombie room, this is, like you said, it is longer than ever, and it is just one part of the scare, Kim. You yes. have, how long does it take to make your way through the Chamber of Horrors? It takes somewhere between 20 to 25 minutes on average. It just depends on your group and how quickly you navigate through. Um, you know, take your time, enjoy the scenery. We've got over 30 different rooms to go through, and each room has a different theme to it. So no matter what you're afraid of, you're probably gonna find it here inside our chambers. Now let's talk about um, some serious stuff. What, what do you do for uh, cleaning and sanitization? How do we know things are safe in here? Sure, so we do sanitize all of our high touch points. We've removed a lot of things from our haunt that would normally touch your face because of course we don't want, we don't want you to feel any type. We, we want you to be comfortable. Um, but aside from that, we also have UV sanitation lights that we use to zap everything. We also use a fogger that has chemicals that continues to fight bacteria over 48 hours, and we do that nightly. So we do everything we can to hit it three different ways, make sure that we're good. And of course they want you to wear a mask too, and buy that ticket in advance. It's gonna help shorten your wait time. You'll have fun during the wait and fun being scared in the haunt. Coming up in the next hit, we're gonna explore more of Azra Chamber of Horrors. Simon, back to you. <laughs>